get to know New Mexico. It's not just Jalen House, is it? No, it really isn't. This is a systemic group that produces on both ends of the floor. They say playing hard in the NBA is a skill. Coach Patino is getting that out of this crew for sure. Now, the other side for Wyoming, 5-8 and eight so far in this campaign for Jeff Linder. He mentioned to us earlier in the week, it is a challenging season for him, obviously with no Graham E.K., Hunter Maldonado, his numbers are down so far. Yeah, so they had that great two-man game, and without E.K., listen, he was one of three guys in the country that averaged at least 20 points and nine rebounds last season. And like Einstein says, not everything that counts can be counted. Defensively, they're missing him as well. Opening tip-off is controlled by the road team. This thing is underway. First of two games between these two squads. They split both games last season, each team winning on their own home court. Alec down low in the block, working against Baldino. Quickly, the big man goes up. Bad shot, though. Misses with his left hand, and back comes Wyoming. Now, if you're Wyoming, you love that. Control your defensive board, as Hubie Brown says, the cardinal rule of NBA playoff basketball. Wenzel for three. He got it. Wyoming's on the board for the first time today. Wenzel only scored a couple points against Fresno State. That was a troubling loss against Fresno State, one in which they were down by as many as 18 before they closed the gap late. Yeah, they were excellent defensively, but just couldn't finish it on the road. Nice steal here. Back comes Maldonado and company. Reynolds on the right side. Ball game just underway. Probably chilly outside. Plenty of snow, but indoors you expect a lot of firepower in both ends. Cutting to the rack. Tough shot off the mark, though. No good. Is that bid for Odin underneath. It's controlled now. And back comes New Mexico. Here's House. Jalen House so far this season, just over 17 points per game. That triple on the way, and that is good as we're all. Wyoming, you think about where they are at this season, Bill. New Mexico, they were picked by many people to finish fifth in the conference. Wyoming was supposed to be one of the upper echelon teams. Not so much so far. Yeah, and listen, there's a lot of basketball. We've just begun the second season conference play. We'll see if Ike returns. It's a major loss for the Cowboys. Get to go on the shot clock. Swing pass down low to Maldonado. Just two out in front of him. It's a bad feed, though. Early turnover for Wyoming. Back comes New Mexico. Bill, your keys to this contest. Yeah, so for New Mexico, maintain your focus, particularly on the road. And then the big three, House, Mashburn, Udezi, 51 points per game. And then when you look at Wyoming, low turnovers. And then you've got to bring a D. New Mexico scores 84 points per night. Mashburn. Give it up. Deze called for the offensive foul. Morris went in, charging, drawn the foul. Easy Jeremiah Odin. First foul of the contest. Deze doesn't like the call. Pretty good position by Odin. And of course, now you've got to be very careful with the flopping rule. Deze has been terrific for New Mexico. Earned conference player of the week honors earlier in the season. One unique blend with New Mexico so far this season as they have had the same rotation of players in the starting lineup all 14 games, including today. There's Reynolds. Anderson, the transfer from Southern Cal. Different scenery. Imagine shopping was challenging for him. That shot partially deflected in the way up. Back comes Jalen House. House number two in the Mountain West Conference in scoring so far this season. Desi, and that'll be a foul underneath by Odin. So you can see... Early on for Richard Patino trying to get the big man the ball early, early touches for him. Yeah, absolutely. And you look at the excellent spacing, the high-low scenario, Alec going to a Desi. We saw on the mash burn three, we get a good look at Coach Patino on the sidelines saying this turnaround has happened a lot faster than he expected. The pit has been hopping. The fan support, unbelievable. One of the best fan bases, of course, in the country. So a couple turnovers so far for Udeze. Richard Patino looking on. That's the one thing you have with New Mexico so far. They're ranked 22nd in AP poll. They are 10 and 0 at home. Tremendous home court advantage. One of the best venues in all of college basketball. Taking it up. Reynolds, tough shot. Got the shooter's touch though to fall. And Wyoming's got a two-point lead. Reynolds motivated by the fact that he didn't play in the NCAA tournament game against Indiana last year. Big production thus far. Alec outside. That is a three on the way. Bad miss. Loose ball controlled by Wyoming. Here comes Ethan Anderson. Anderson averaging about six and a half points per game so far this season. He's appeared now in all 13 games. Started in 11 of them. There's two drop in the lane for two. 
Excellent move by Anderson. Now, Coach Patino is going to want a little bit of better ball pressure here. Wyoming kind of getting in the paint a little bit too easily. Mashburn stepped back with a hand in his face. Tough look. No good. Odin skies up for the rebound. Back comes Maldonado. 16-21 to play in this first half. 7-3 Cowboys. Maldonado, tough shot. Tried to use the muscle. Alec with the board. Alec trying to run the paint. Cross corner pass on the way. Javante Johnson's first look short on it. Another defensive rebound for Wyoming. Wyoming has not done a lot of things great so far this season. When you look at them statistically, points per game down, rebounds are down, points against are up. So you come into a contest like this with your Jeff Linder, you want to make sure you take full advantage of the hometown faithful, the and one right there. Noah Reynolds to go to the free throw line for the bonus. Tell me because when these two teams got together last season, Wyoming was 22nd in the nation, and they lost at New Mexico. So we'll see if the Cowboys can return the favor. As Reynolds pops that free throw, it's a seven-point advantage for the Pokes. This game will keep you humble and hungry. It's a fickle and mercurial world. Alec from the free throw line, sure on that one as well. So New Mexico, one of six to open up this contest. That includes three loud turnovers. Maldonado on the block. He likes to camp out there with and without the basketball. Reynolds takes a look at the shot clock. It has 17 on it. House trying to force a turnover. House going for 34 in that win at the pit last year, David, as you alluded to. See if New Mexico has a little bit better ball pressure. Maybe different coverage on this pick and roll action. Reynolds patient with the approach. Goes up the left. Left hand is nice. House thought he was hooked. Officials didn't think so. Lead is now up to nine. And David, your word, patient. He looked a little like Kyle Anderson, like slow-mo on that offensive attempt. Well, we got an offensive foul. Udeze is beside himself right now. Tell you what, he's got two fouls in the first four minutes and 59 seconds. So Richard Patino on the other side, not too happy with the officials. So... So one of the things here, wow, that's a that's a tough one. Looks it kind of innocuous, but officiating is a very difficult job. Reynolds off the screen from Maldonado tries again with his left hand. That shot was blocked, and back comes New Mexico. They like to run and gun. Johnson step back. That's a two. Still counts the same. Cuts a spell. A 9-0 run. Now makes it 12 to 5. Wyoming got out of the gate slowly against Fresno State. They were down 13 at the end of the first half, and as many as 18 before they got on their horse in the second half to eventually have a lead, but could not close it out. House, everyone in the building thought he traveled, and the far side official says, Yes, sir, you did. Another turnover. That's now five in the contest for the Lobos. So we see House with great vision here just loses the handle. And, you know, it's interesting. We talked about the keys, maintaining that road focus, trying to maintain your poise and equanimity on the road, outside of the pit. Wenzel lined up beyond the arc on the right-hand side. Maldonado thought about giving it to him. Odin for three. Yes. Well, one team's playing like they're 13-0, and, and the other one's playing like they're 5-8. and eight. But it's not the team that has the advantage. Wyoming off to a great start, up by 10. Mashburn trying to cut into it. Good hesitation move. Mashburn, a preseason All-Mountain West selection. Scion of Jamal Mashburn, who played for Richard Patino's dad, Rick, at Kentucky, of course. Reynolds on the take, got fouled in the process of shooting. He'll go to the free throw line for a couple. And just piggybacking off of what you said, Bill, Jamal Mashburn Jr. playing today. Father played in the NBA. Eddie House was a rock star at Arizona State. And he was the conference player of the year in the Pac-12 and lit everyone on fire. Jalen here now trying to lead the charge for New Mexico. Has aspirations, obviously, to make the NBA. And so you have that kind of pedigree. K.J. Jenkins, who has not appeared just yet. He's the cousin of DeAndre Hopkins. Wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals. It's the Houston Texans. There you go. Remember Eddie House putting up 61 on the Cal Bears in their building back in the day before his NBA career. House back guy, no good. Maldonado with the rebound. 
So defensively for Wyoming, they've been stout. It's pretty much been one shot only on each trip. Maldonado, great spin move into the lane. Fantastic feed from Winston. Yeah. On both ends of the floor, Wyoming, an auspicious start, grabbing the steering wheel. They, they're getting stops if they don't turn over the Lobos before that, and they're getting good offense, high-quality shots for their best players in their best areas. UB Brown 101. Go back to this following sequence. So you look at the communication, it just doesn't feel like New Mexico has found their footing just yet. Both teams with defense in front of their respective benches for the first 20 minutes. Donovan Denton the contest for the first time today. Jenkins lets it rip for three. Just mentioned him moments ago. Lead is down to eight for Wyoming. Shooters will continue to shoot. Yeah, New Mexico so far this season, 36% from long range. They hit 11 triples in the first half against Colorado State on a Wednesday night. High arcing three. That one's going to be off the mark from Ducell. Xavier into the contest, the junior, checking in. So both coaches go into their respective benches. Jenkins thought about pulling the trigger. Alec, cross-court pass, right side again for Jenkins. No, not this time. Pretty good look. Yeah, that's a shot you like if you're New Mexico, of course. Wyoming's got a handful of players coming in for Jeff Lunder that are transfers. Hyman, one of them from UCLA. That's the rack off the mark. He thought he was fouled. No, sir. Back comes Dent. No numbers, though, for New Mexico. Good transition defense for Wyoming. Alec to Mashburn. Mashburn with a hand in his face. No good. See three players there for Wyoming colliding. Alec, though, with the offensive rebound. Second chance opportunity here into Lane Johnson for two. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen a lot of this so far. Exactly. That's likely the first second chance opportunity for the Lobos, and they cash in. The one thing that's been so good with New Mexico is their ability to close out the first half strong. They've only trailed once this season at the end of the first half. To San Francisco, got a media timeout against undefeated New Mexico, despite the loss at Fresno State. Hard to believe, too. They were down by 18, had a one-point lead late, but just could not close it out. It's unfortunate for them, but they continue to play on. Here's Mashburn out of the timeout. Mashburn to Johnson, Javante with the rock. Back to Mashburn, darting towards the rack. He is found in the process of shooting. Let's see if they give this to Reynolds or Ducell. Looks to be 53 Ducell. Now. If this is in the act of shooting, it'll be New Mexico's first trip. We get a good look at Coach Linder. New Mexico's first trip to the free throw line today. And it looks like they called it on the floor. Now, New Mexico is second in the country, 27 free throw attempts per night. They have yet to get there here in Laramie. Sebastian Forsling's in the contest. Tried volleying that to himself. No good. Here's Reynolds. Wyoming so far as a club. Controlling the glass. Got nine rebounds in counting. Perfect drop of feet. See who this foul is on. Powell was the intended target. It'll be against Javante Johnson. And you're absolutely right, David, with the Cowboys competing on the glass. They have yet to turn the ball over. Zero turnovers. You love that. And they're shooting a high percentage. 50%, two of three from three. And they've held New Mexico to just... 36% from the floor. So well done for Coach Linder and his squad thus far. Yeah, the defense has been tremendous so far. Jalen House, Marcio Udeze combined for no points and just one fugle. On top of that, Udeze's got a couple personal fouls and two turnovers. Yeah, so it's been a rough start for the Lobos here on the road. But nevertheless, going to play two halves. House try to kick out that right leg. No good front iron. First thing with the rebound. A shot that one coming from outside from Jenkins no good either third chance opportunity here for the Lobos It's been a rarity today for them cutting towards the rack that one off the mark again by Jenkins Put a player down for the Cowboys and now we're gonna have the officials call for time That's Noah Reynolds Of course wish Reynolds well well and It looks like he's gonna be taken to the locker room by the trainers Ethan Anderson will make his return 
for the Cowboys. Eight point advantage. We're nearly halfway through this opening half. Game number one between these two sides. Wenzel had it ripped out of his hands. Nicely done by KJ Jenkins. Good steal. Yeah, that's the first turnover of the afternoon by the Cowboys. Well, they got it right back, didn't they? Wenzel goes down. I'll tell you what, Forsling is taking out everybody from Wyoming. But a steal one way, and back the other way comes Wyoming. So Forsling with the foul. Well, a roster for Jeff Linder that has been ravaged by injuries. They've had nine different starting lineups this season in 13 games, make it 14 today. Yeah, you can only hope that you get healthy as we get a good look at Coach Linder, has great success, Northern Colorado and the Big Sky. But, you know, guys will get minutes that maybe they didn't anticipate in different junctures of the season. You can only hope that helps them evolve and hopes the group helps the group collectively. Because you just never know when your number is going to be called. Well, especially in a conference like this, you, you had a handful of teams last year that made noise getting to the NCAA tournament one way or another. And so this is a, a unique setting that Jeff Linder had mentioned. Yeah, you, you're expected to do things at UCLA or USC, but when you come to Wyoming or New Mexico or San Diego State or Boise State, there's no drop off. No, absolutely not. The corner was missed by Johnson. Wyoming three turnovers in the last four possessions, trying to clean up their act. Rivaling what New Mexico did to start this affair. Wenzel. Now, Ducell, Maldonado. The brightest spot on this team for Wyoming this season has been Noah Reynolds and Hunter Maldonado. Loses the handle on him. Bad position there for Wyoming. Back comes Jalen House. Alec cutting to the rack. Left hand, no good. Might have been partially deflected by Wenzel. Good transition for Wyoming. Yeah, it really was, David. And, you know, you look at New Mexico now picking up the intensity defensively. Anderson trying to cure a spell, and he does. That's a high-arcing shot using glass. They were in a drought for four and a half minutes till Anderson hit that. Back to a 10-point advantage for Wyoming. Great patience and poise by Anderson reading the defense. Jenkins around the screen, drawn back iron. Good effort, though, by Johnson. Back out, Jenkins all alone for three, yes. That's what happens with great shooters. If you miss a few, you believe you're going to go on a tear and make seven, eight in a row. Jenkins. Season high 17 points off the bench against Iona in the Patino versus Patino battle a couple weeks ago. Jalen House, nice pickpocket, his first points of the affair for New Mexico. Jeff Linder beside himself on the opposite end of the court. Not happy with Anderson there, who's walking up the court. Lead is now down to five for Wyoming. So House just one of three from the field so far in this contest. Maldonado trying to go to work with the right hand. Maldonado, a front court player in high school. And when he has time, David, in the paint to kind of cogitate, take a look at what the coverage is, it's very effective. Dent to the right side. Johnson with the floater. Offensive foul against Javante. It's the third offense contact there. Fans don't like it. But this is New Mexico's first trip to the free throw line. They're second in the country, 27 attempts per game. And Here is Jersey retired back in 2019. And oh, by the way, played for the Detroit Pistons, the world champs in 1989. That's rarefied air. Bembo and Maldonado. Polo had that one charred free. House trying to draw a foul. Maldonado blocks the shot. No, he'll be called for the shooting foul. Fans aren't happy about it. So interestingly enough, we get a good look here. Active hands, the deflection, the steal, and House draws a little bit of contact there. Fans don't like it. But this is New Mexico's first trip to the free game. And also, despite Wyoming's turnovers, which there are eight of them, New Mexico is only cashed in to the tune of two points, maybe three if this three throws me. See the numbers so far. 
for House. He hits the second free throw. 81% free throw shooter on the season. New Mexico, on the other hand, they, they're they averaging about 12 turnovers a game. They have seven so far in this opening half. Can be alarming. Let's see if it continues. Agbon Polo to the corner. No. That was a clean look from Jeremiah Odin, but he couldn't knock it down. See if House can. No, he was short on that one. Anderson with the defensive rebound. Do set. No numbers, though, for Wyoming. Six-point lead. Got to get up to 10 on two separate occasions. We sell around the Maldonado screen. Hesitation. Alec. No good. Alec not leaving his feet at six foot eight. Force him there to back him up at seven feet tall. And House with the offensive foul. Four of them now in this first half for New Mexico. House is trying to make something happen. Anderson with the on ball defense. Looks like a pretty good call. Is it tough to take a take a charge in that fashion on a driver? But Anderson in good position to his credit. So Jalen House. Now Mashburn has returned for him. Agbon Bolo into the corner. His three pointer on the way. Rims in and out. No good. Alec with the defensive rebound. Ducell had a clean look from that corner. Dent, Alec, spin move, swiped away by Ducell. Plenty of time to go in the shot clock, though, for New Mexico. Mashburn, it's been quiet so far inside the three-point line. Pockets of two. A lot of the players in New Mexico treating this season as a revenge season. Richard Patino called it an incomplete campaign last year. They were an incomplete squad. How about that, though, making it count? Jeremiah Odin with the three. Every time New Mexico has made a push, Wyoming has countered accordingly. And the fans trying to get loud. There's Dent. Alec, right-handed hook shot, no good. Maldonado pushing him out a little bit, forcing him off bounce. So we're under five. We'll see how these clubs close out the opening half. Keep in mind, New Mexico's only trailed once this season at the end of 20 minutes of play. That was to San Francisco. Odin walking the baseline. And that'll be a foul against Forsley. Got to give Coach Linder a lot of credit. Holding a team that's undefeated and averages 85 points per night to just 20 with four and a half to go here in the first half, building a seven-point lead. And now you're without Reynolds, who had eight points early without with an injury. You're already without the Mountain West preseason player of the year, of course, and Graham E.K. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's always a chance. Odin hits the first. And, and, and listen, the, the Mountain West Conference, the treacherous terrain that it is, right? Uh, Steve Clifford, the head coach of the Charlotte Hornets, says, you want to scare yourself, just look at the NBA schedule. And similarly, you can say the same thing about the Mountain West. Odin goes one for two, 75% on the season. So Mashburn's got seven to lead New Mexico. Jenkins has six behind him. But they need some help. They have three players that average double figures this season. Three-pointer on the way by Dent, no good. So some of these shots were falling quite easily on Wednesday night against Colorado State. But that was at home. This is on the road. Anderson, Ducell, top of the key. Charging, going up with the left hand. Alex says, no way. Good stand there by Josiah. And back comes Mashburn. Under four to play. Let's see if this foul's on Maldonado. He's looking to his bench for some help. He's not going to get it. And we got immediate timeout. Just 10 points combined from the triumvirate. So we'll see if they can turn it around here. Just under four minutes to play in this first half. Udeze back on the court, along with Mashburn. Mashburn on cue, trying to draw a foul. Alex skies up for the rebound. Mashburn outside. Alec been working hard on both ends of the court so far. Alec with the right hand. Good completed action for him. Alex first points of the afternoon. And New Mexico would love to get the front court percolating to open up the perimeter game. Odin. 
against Udeze. Nice step back, a little short on it. Alec with the defensive rebound. Wyoming right now shooting 46% from the field. New Mexico only 32. And we got another turnover. That's the ninth turnover of the contest now for New Mexico. Keep in mind, the average 12 a game. So credit Wyoming's defense, David, and you're operating on the road in a feral environment. First road conference matchup of the season. You come in 13 and 0, pristine record. But again, that all goes out the window when you step on the floor. Very much second for New Mexico. Anderson almost walked. One side looking for a screen, gets it. Shot clock was at nine, lost the handle though. And back comes New Mexico, looking to push. Dent. It's a dangerous pass. Anderson almost picked it off. Mashburn. Alec, again. Outside. I'll tell you what, Jenkins didn't panic on that play. No sense of panic or discomfort. Settled himself down. Mid-range jumper was sweet. So smooth. Coach Patino says good teams take what the game gives them. And it's a perfect example. The hard closeout. Johnson one step. Tell you what, Allen and company are going to have their hands full, whether they get the Bengals in a postseason game, the Chargers, or, of course, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. An awesome divisional affair last season, seeing Kansas City win it in overtime. Back to this one. Anderson on the right block. Good spin move against Mashburn. Can't complete it, though. Had the right idea, just could not complete it. Mashburn outside. Jenkins for three. Got it. It's the first time either team has made three straight field goals in this contest. And a double-digit lead is now down to one for Wyoming. Big-time shot by Jenkins. Despite all the disruption to New Mexico, they only trail by one. Anderson. Ansel, give it back to Anderson. Shot clock is at nine. A real panic outside that three point on the way is pretty. Agban Polo got a hand in his face, and Richard Patino is upset. An unfortunate injury for Wyoming and the conference. That yeah, is brutal, but New Mexico on the other side of things, they've already equaled their win total from last year. Last season, they were 13 and 19. Jenkins goes up. Maybe a tie up, it will be a tie up, but a jump ball goes to the home team. Yeah, great aggression by. Kyman as they double teamed Jenkins coming off that curl. They cannot allow him to go off here unabated. So Kyman, good defensive adjustment. Kyman, another transfer from UCLA and grew up in Alicio Viejo in the Orange County area. Here's Anderson with about 60 seconds to go in this first half. Agban Polo, strong take, no good. Mashburn in transition, no numbers though. Mashburn against Ducell goes up, draws the foul. And it looks like we have free throws coming up. That is exactly the case. Anderson will be the guilty party on this. Bill, what say you? You know, the guys with the whistles are always the people with the last say. So, if you're Wyoming, you just got to turn the page and live with it. Mashburn hits the first free throw of two. FS1 did a great job along with Fox this year with World Cup action. I don't know if Mashburn was going for a yellow card there in that flop, but nevertheless, it worked to his advantage. New Mexico on a 9-3 run, just down by two. Anderson. Let's see if this is an offensive foul. No, it's not. Mashburn tried his luck to no avail. When Noah Reynolds went out, it was an eight-point lead for Wyoming. And now you have the situation where you're Wyoming trying to fend off New Mexico, down a player. And it feels like the Lobos have found their sea legs. Anderson misses the first free throw, too. He's only a 31% free throw shooter this season. And Jalen House returns. Yeah, you're absolutely right, David. And early on, it was Wyoming... Jumped out to a 10-3 lead. Yeah. 
But for Coach Milder, you've got to feel good about your effort for sure. It's been all effort so far for Alec. That dude's been all over the court for New Mexico. And Richard Patino wants his club to play on. So no timeout here. Shot clock and game clock differentials about nine seconds. House, who's been silent so far, he's got three points, one of four from the field. But again, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. House, Alec. Corner three is on the way, got it. Knee deep in all of it, New Mexico with their first lead of the ball game at 32 31. Anderson returning fire, nicely done. So Ethan Anderson, who missed two free throws, got. Yeah, so. We see this team, they were 15 of 25 from three against Colorado State. And this afternoon in the first half, just five of 13 from three. Johnson with the basketball to Jalen House. House in that opening half only had three points. He's averaging just a hair over 17 on the campaign. Left corner three is on the way. Nicely done by Javante Johnson. Sweet stroke. And New Mexico has recaptured the lead, 35-33. It's only their second lead of this ball game. Yeah, Johnson was two of four from three the other night in the win over Colorado State. Nice steal by Mashburn, two on one. Mashburn all by his lonesome, can't complete it. House with the offensive rebound, back to Mashburn, all alone. No. Odom with the rebound. Yeah, in the opening half, New Mexico attempted 13 threes. It's the second most that they've had in any half this season. And Coach Patino said he really liked the way the Lobos embraced the offensive game plan against Colorado State. They knew they were going to get looks from three, and they capitalized in a major way. Maldonado short on that shot. Worried about Alex skying up to block it. Didn't matter anyway, though. Alex outside the house for three. No. Rims in and out. Tough break for him. Anderson and Odin converge. It will be Ethan Anderson, who was nicked up on the previous trip down defensively. But he appears to be okay. If you're just joining us, Noah Reynolds out of this ball game for Wyoming. Took an elbow to the back of the head. Out because of concussion protocol. Anderson lines it up. Yes. That thing was a rainmaker that finally came down. And when it did, it gave Wyoming a one-point lead. Anderson comes in averaging six points per night. He's got nine. Just like you said, David, he's got to pick up the offensive slack in the absence of Reynolds. And, of course, E.K., House, out. Alec against Maldonado, size advantage, and Maldonado reaching in. He knew it as soon as he did it. So Anderson here cogitating, reading the defense. It's like, listen, if you're not going to close out on me, I'm going to drain this. So Ethan Anderson hits that three-pointer. Maldonado's now got three personal fouls. Got to keep an eye on him. Alec this season at the charity stripe, 67%, and this is the first of two. I'll tell you what, for as good as New Mexico has been this season with Udeze, Mashburn, and House, Jojo Jenkins off the bench, gave him a spark here today in the first half, scored 11 points. He had 11 against Colorado State on Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're going to need him this afternoon, David. You're right, in the second 20 minutes, just as he produced in the first 20 to get out of here with a win and remain undefeated. New Mexico came into this ball game three and a half point favorites against the Cowboys. That three point away by Wenzel. No good. Bodies going tumbling down. Maldonado was there. Alec with the defensive rebound. Mashburn, transition game is beautiful. Ah, oh, Mashburn with alacrity, unabated, coast to coast. Coach Linder and the Cowboys do not like that, but a great explosion by Mashburn. Mashburn's got 11. Time for the team lead with Jenkins. There's Wenzel to Anderson. Anderson trying to take House off the dribble. Maldonado, pocket three. Yes, sir. Well, they need a lot more of that from Hunter. He's only averaging 12 points a game this season. Numbers drastically down from the previous year, in large part because no Graham EK. What a great drive and kick. Excellent offense by the Cowboys. Alec, that's way too easy against Maldonado. He's got three personal fouls. Can't pick up another cheap one. Yeah, great isolation. And David, to your point, Maldonado 
only college player to have greater than 1,500 points, collect 600 or more rebounds, 500 or more career assists. So this kid knows how to play, of course. And the senior also coming in at six foot seven helps when you can play that point guard position. Down low on the block, Anderson trouble with it. Alec and the tie up jump ball position goes back to Wyoming. Anderson a little cavalier with that. Alec almost made him pay. Maldonado down the ground, not looking right. He's missed a couple games this season, has Hunter Maldonado. Concussion, separated shoulder. He has left it all on the floor. And the numbers you mentioned, Bill, with Maldonado, his career numbers as a Division I athlete. Quite the accomplishment. Once the catch and shoot, never had a chance to sell. Ball fake was nice. And he'll go up and back to the free throw line as he was hacked in the process of shooting. Uh, to earn and continue to earn the national respect and recognition. And the conference, of course, is in great shape uh, with multiple teams in the tournament last season. As you take a look at the net top 100 of where they stand right now, New Mexico. Utah State only has a couple losses this season, so the Aggies are off to a a good opening sequence. San Diego State will be around, of course. Boise State will be on tap as well on FS1. Dussel hits the second free throw. So back comes Wyoming with the advantage at 41-39. New Mexico with possession. Javante Johnson on the top of the key. Mashburn right side steps in short on it. Maldonado with a defensive rebound. They're beating up New Mexico on the glass. Maldonado into the lane. He is fouled. And that'll be a shooting foul. You know, for Wyoming. And Wyoming's defense last season, top 75 with EK in the 200 range without him thus far. Big loss. And, you know, it's no disrespect, but he went toe to toe last year with Orlando Robinson of Fresno State. And for as much hype as Robinson got, EK, EK was able to play with him every step of the way. Yeah, he really was, and uh, you can only hope that he recovers and get, gets back on the floor. But Wyoming up four without him at this juncture. And no, Noah Reynolds either. So up by four. Largest lead for Wyoming was 11. That was in the first half. Shot clock right now is at 11. Alec. Way outside. Here's Jalen House. House hesitation against Maldonado. Maldonado again had to let him go by. He's got three personal fouls, and House took advantage of it. Yeah, good defense overall by Wyoming, but better offense by House. It's a veteran move by House as well, just to be patient with the shot clock winding down against Maldonado. Dussel got around the corner. Odin with a ball fake. Anderson was wide open for a moment. Back to work against House. That shot blocked on one side. No, it's going to be a foul. Udeze was there. And we'll see who this foul is on. It'll be on Udeze. Oh, and he did. He got him across the elbow. It, it looked like Udeze, with the help, David, could have timed that and blocked it. But he did foul. It's a good call by the official. So now Coach Patino has a decision to make. So... Udeze, who came into this ball game averaging almost seven points per game, does not have a single point and four personal fouls. Anderson misses that first free throw. He's 0 for 3 so far at the charity stripe. He's got some funky splits. He's 53% from the field this season and only 31% from the charity stripe. He's 1 for 4 today. And a three point lead for the home team. Cowboys this season. Five up, eight down, but they're four and two here at home. Mashburn. Good hesitation move. That step back in the left foot is pretty. Absolutely gorgeous move, David. You're right. And Mashburn, a preseason all-conference selection. You can see why. Maldonado against Olick. He likes to work down there against the big man. Can't complete it though. Not a big size advantage either for Alec. He's six foot eight. Maldonado is six foot seven. House with a hand in his face. Got it. You can't play better defense than that. Jalen House is making a little bit of a statement here along with Mashburn at Al. Anderson off the dribble. The scoop to Odin. That won't count. More for cosmetics. 
But back to this three-pointer, Bill. Yeah, just enough room for House to unleash. Listen, he is a threat when he leaves the bus, okay? Some may say the buffet at the hotel. <laughs> you, have, you must know where he is at all times. 34 last season at the pit when Wyoming was ranked 22nd. Now we've got role reversal. We're here in Laramie. The Lobos ranked 22nd. Do sell around the screen too strong on that. Anderson tried going up for it. That one fought off by Javante Jenkins. Or Johnson, excuse me. So Johnson out there along with Jenkins. House wants the basketball. Alec Cullen for the right block. And another foul on Maldonado. That'll be number four. And Jeff Linder on the opposite side is hot. So Maldonado fighting for position here against Alec. And listen, officiating is a very tough job. It's a very physical game. I would not want that occupation. Uh, the screen. That pass and shot was per picture perfect. Jenkins goes down. It looked like he landed on the foot of Anderson. It's a tough shot, but Jenkins trying to walk it off. That three-pointer now makes it 14 for him off the bench for New Mexico. You know what's interesting, David, is you look at... Yeah, he just goes straight up, and he does land on the defender's foot. That's always treacherous. For a player when you don't have the predictable floor landing. House number three. Yeah, Jenkins stepped on the foot, it looked like, of Kyman. So that's three fouls now for Jalen House. So we mentioned one of the keys being here, road focus. So Lobos, House is upset. He thought Anderson was pushing off there, didn't get the call. But, of course, you've got to li live with it. It's got to be about the next play. Stay in the moment. The critical juncture here. You're up five if you're New Mexico. Can you extend it? Agbang Polo into the ball game. Ducell. Nice ball fake. Wide open for three. Fake a shot. Hit a shot. Fans back on their feet. Deficit for the Cowboys is two. Donovan Dent back in for the Lobos. Here's Jalen House. Alec wanted to give it back to him, but Dent. Dent around the screen. Hesitation to the hoop. No. Had it swiped out of his pocket, and back comes Wyoming. Trying to tie it or take a one-point lead. New Mexico this season is 3-0 in games decided by six points or less. Wyoming, an alarming 0-4. Odin from the right elbow. Yes. So you have the guards defensively that are overextending at some point against Wyoming. And then all of a sudden, the bigs left all by their lonesome. And Richard Patino calls a timeout. He's not happy with his team defense. All they can handle here in Laramie. And our entire crew had a big package, too, highlighting the three teams that were undefeated coming into today. And then all of a sudden, Xavier took apart UConn winning that game by 10. So it's just New Mexico and Purdue. Back to the action. Donovan Dent, no good. Alex skies up for the rebound, passes it to the bench. But oh, one official thought I was going to call a foul. The other one says no. So it's going to be a turnover for Alec. I'll tell you what, though, Josiah's playing great minutes today for New Mexico. Yeah, he, he has been a staple of the front court, a great addition. Dent, who missed the jumper, Mr. California Basketball Centennial High School, playing for Josh Giles, a friend of. Or Casey Jacobson's so solid 2.2 assist to turnover ratio. Here he is with his steal. Dent trying to go coast to coast with the left hand. No, but he'll get two free throws coming his way. You mentioned it at Centennial, won a state title there. Centennial got as high as number two in the national rankings. Dent is one of those players, David, that he's precocious. He's wise beyond his years. He's mature. See him here in a feral environment on the road as a freshman. Coach Patino has great trust in him. And places like this is where you grew up pretty fast. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Right now, he's a freshman. We come back in late February, March. There are no freshmen remaining. <laughs> right. And then, of course, you get to the conference tournament. Ages and grades don't matter. Academically, they do, of course. But 
You get our point. Absolutely. The third season, we're just beginning the second one, second conference game for each squad. And David, think about the difference between New Mexico remaining undefeated and going 2-0 and versus 1-1, and and Wyoming trying to even up their their part and that's why they have a two-point lead yeah exactly they're shooting 54 percent in the second half just 38 percent in the first 20 minutes cowboys hurt the lobos in the first half in the paint 16 points here in the second only two alec again so if he's gonna run the full length of the court you gotta reward him house an easy dump off alex 10th career double double now now you see the Lobos, their defense creating offense, getting out in transition. Anderson, retaliation, no. Rebound, put back. Third crack, yes. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty for Wyoming with Maldonado out. They have to create and manufacture points. We'll see if Anderson can pick up the slack. Nice blow by by House. Javante Johnson, wide open, no. Diamond with a rebound for Wyoming. Under 10 minutes to play in regulation. New Mexico, 13-0, one of two teams in the nation still undefeated. Anderson with the left hand. How about that? Ethan Anderson with a strong take with the left hand. Wyoming, New Mexico, 55 up. Anderson, 14 points, 6 of 9, only averages 6 entering this afternoon's game. Fans back on their feet. Ashburn blows by Hyman and the foul. Sweet move by Mashburn. Hyman on the baseline beside himself. Now on the schoolyard, you'd say that Anderson rang the bell and now Mashburn answers it. He's a conundrum, a night match nightmare. Can shoot the three, can sh score in all three phases. Finishes at the rim in the mid-range, which we've seen from downtown. He had 19 points on Wednesday night against Colorado State. He was 7 to 15 from the field, but 4 of 8 from downtown. He completes the three-point act, and it's a three-point lead now for New Mexico. So where does the offense come for the Cowboys? Who sells back out there? Anderson, good hesitation. Got Alec up. He thought he was fouled. Scored anyway. Now they got a switch there. There was a big on Anderson, and he just created enough space to finish. He's stepping up in a major way, David. Like you said, who's where's the offense going to come from? Anderson has been prodigious thus far. Ashburn, floater, no, but he gets two free throws. They get hit in the top of the head. So Mashburn taking it all the way. Trying to push back that defense. And two free throws for Jamal. But back to Ethan Anderson, the junior from Los Angeles. It's a clear sign right now with Maldonado out that he's been the aggressive alpha on the court right now for the home team. Yeah, he really has been. He's got the ball in his hands. He's initiating offense. 7 of 10 from the floor for 16 points for Anderson. He's been terrific. Ashburn hits the second as well, so a perfect 2 for 2 at the free throw line. Back up to 3 is the advantage for New Mexico. It's kind of game for Anderson that if you're a Wyoming fan, you hope this can propel him to greater production throughout the season. Of course, you want the win right now, too. Agbon Polo with a strong move and a take finishes with his left hand. So Anderson getting himself some points and now getting everyone else involved catching the curling Agban Polo One point lead for the Lobos. This is just their third road game of the season It is a game And here's Alec Again. <laughs> Of creating sustaining and surviving runs and we're seeing that New Year's Eve from the Dome of Doom and despite the fact that we're playing at an awfully high elevation, the energy level's been good on both ends of the court. New Mexico, obviously, not unfamiliar with this territory. Agbon Polo tries this look for three! Well, they aren't going away, are they? The native from Laguna Niguel. 
And a transfer from Southern Cal getting fans back on their feet. 62-62. House trying to quiet the barn to no avail. Foul before. It's been necessary to step up here for the Lobos. So his 10th career double-double. First one as a Lobo. House at the free throw line will hit the first of two. It's a bonus situation for the Lobos. As you had mentioned it, on the top tier teams, Bill, this season free throws. House a perfect two for two. Came into this ball game 81% at the free throw line. And today, he's just three of four. And the free throw line is still the highest efficiency spot on the floor. Free throw line at the rim, corner three. We don't have time for an analytics clinic, nor does anyone need it on New Year's Eve, but it's major to get there. Maldonado back in the ball game. The put back, the easy bunny won't go. The second one won't go either. House trying to push. House looking for a little separation. Unbelievable contort of his body, and he scores. A slasher, a dasher, in opposition. New Year's Eve party crasher. House with the elevator going down, the ability to finish. 66-62, New Mexico. Anderson in a ditch house. Maldonado, response, no. Ducell underneath, easy. The defensive possession does not end until you secure the defensive rebound. Big second chance points for Wyoming on that possession. Yeah, Cowboys have scored 10 of the last 15 points in the paint. So the body work continues against the Lobos. Jenkins returns. Mashburn off one foot. No. Alec fighting for it amongst three different Cowboys. And he calls a timeout. And back at home at the pit, 75-66. That was the game that you had mentioned, Bill, with House scoring 34 points. Hunter Maldonado only had nine on two of 12 shooting from the field. Sorry about that step back from Jenkins off the mark. Thought it was good. Maldonado with the rebound. Back comes Ethan Anderson. Anderson's career high is 19 points. He scored it last year against UCLA. And today, he's got 16. Maldonado trying to get into the act. That's a veteran player right there, Maldonado. So good at getting to his spots and finishing. 66-66. House around the screen, left elbow pure. Jalen House at half court telling everyone inside the arena to calm down and be quiet. So it's nice when you could go to a gunfight with that kind of guy. So intelligent, David, the pull up on the pick and roll coverage. It was drop coverage. He recognized it. Absolutely gorgeous move. Maldonado thought about taking the shot. Back to work in the paint. He's comfortable there. Right handed hook, sweeping, scoring. Now, if you're in New Mexico, don't be surprised if they start to double Maldonado, try to make someone else beat you. In the four minute mark of regulation. Alec, no double team. Using his body against Odin, he scores. It's kind of a loose zone look by the Cowboys. Alec just able to take advantage. You know, Maldonado's just kind of playing center field defensively in the painted area, right in the middle. Yeah, we asked Jeff Linder about that this week. He said we've only done it about three or four times total this year. Go to a zone. Maldonado amongst a couple of players for the Lobos. I'll tell you what, he's heating up. You're going to ride your team leader. You ride him all the way to the end. Absolutely. Maldonado has been special here late. And it is man to man. It's just kind of a loose man to man. Well, Maldonado's got 15 points and 10 rebounds. 14th career double double and second of the season. This could be trouble here. That shot off the mark, though. Johnson had a clean look from the left corner. 70-70 is the score. We got a lot of time here, partner two. 3.20 to go. But who can close? That's the question. Odin for three in the lead. No way. Anderson, though, gets up for the rebound. Ethan Anderson... 
has been a spark. He comes in this ball game only averaging six points an affair, but he leads the team right now in scoring with 16. On the screen, weak side pass to Odom is beautiful. Great cut, great finish. Johnson attacking Maldonado is going to be called for the blocking foul and that's number and put the pressure on the officials to call that foul against Maldonado and he was beat back door on the electrifying dunk Ducell trying to do too much Anderson will slow things down now to a calm heartbeat relatively speaking 72 <laughs> 72 is a tout Agbon Polo back in the game. Odin with the basketball and two more. Odin had the spectacular dunk. Now the drive. Well, the one thing that Wyoming has been yearning for this year is more than two players in double digit scoring. They got three. Mashburn with the tie. No chance. That's an air ball for Mashburn. Mashburn with today's output, 18 points. He has now hit double digits in 35 straight games. Impressive. Absolutely. So crunch time here, partner Wyoming with the ball and a two-point lead. 145 to go. Now, if you believe in numbers and stats, Anderson trying to help out Wyoming overcome the Maldonado loss. Wyoming all-time with Maldonado fouling out is two and nine. Agbon Polo straight away, no. So it's the 12th time Maldonado's fouled out in a contest. Anderson with a ticky-tack foul. And the Cowboys got seven games under 500 without their leader. Anderson picked up his fourth. And for Wyoming, you just see it right there. Last win against the ranked team. You have to go back to 2018 against number 23, Nevada. They won that ball game in double overtime. So a long time ago and a long time left in this game. But what I want to remind you, though, was when these two teams played last year, it was Wyoming that was 22nd in the nation and lost in Albuquerque. This year, New Mexico's 22nd. Stakes are just as high. Lobos trying to be 14 and 0 as opposed to 13 and 1. House training the free throws combined field goal, three point field goal, and free throw percentage. He's knocking on the door of 180. Is House drain those in the feral environment here in Laramie? Budez is back in the ball game. He has been dormant for New Mexico. Under a minute to play in regulation. Anderson, did he travel? No, he was fouled. So it looked like he had the seat taken out from underneath him, but the officials call him the foul. And that's going to be on Jalen House. So that's number four for Jalen. Anderson again, 31% this season at the free throw line. It's the first. Monster production for Anderson, averaging six. Two for six, though, from the charity strap, and it's a one-point lead for Wyoming. Hold on to your hats. House. Around one screen, outside to Dent. Dent attacking the key, lost the handle, Ducell's got it. They don't need a foul, does New Mexico, and the coaches are saying just that on the far sideline. Now, House wasn't listening to his bench, and he just picked up foul number five.
so a little bit of confusion in the communication for New Mexico, unfortunately, because the defensive scenario is right in front of their bench. But the miscommunication and House fouls out. So for the Lobos, what you've got to do here is you've got to turn the page. Yeah. You're down one, two second differential in the shot clock. So obviously you need a stop here in a major way. If not, forcing a turnover before the stop. But it's not like... Oh, but they're shooting, they're shooting. Yeah, that's right. It's, yeah, it's, my apologies. Ducell was going to the free throw line. And it's not like New Mexico's arsenal is empty. Of course, you'd love to have House on the court, but you still have Mashburn. Udeze has been quiet. He can wake up. And Josiah Alec has been fantastic for them. He's got 15 points, and Ducell misses the first. So that bonus, they weren't able to capitalize on. Mashburn, he'll go to work. That shot's rejected. Agbog Polo stared him down on that far base. No Hunter Maldonado. No Noah Reynolds. Udeze to Mashburn. Shot clock, game clock differentials a second. Mashburn off the dribble. He's found the process of shooting. It looks like Ducell got him. Both Jeff Linder and Richard Patino have gotten their money's worth with the officials today. Just a very intelligent play by Mashburn. Put the pressure on the defense. He goes to the line. He's 78% on the season. And more importantly, a perfect six of six at the free throw line. New Mexico as a team this season, about 74% at the charity stripe. But this is where you make your noise. Mashburn, yes. Seven of seven. And now a one-point advantage for New Mexico. And they call for time. So we took you inside the conversation with Richard. Uh, everyone on Wyoming's roster here, Odin has been big. When's it? Seven lead changes so far in the second half. That will be number eight, Agbon Polo, around the screen. Step back for the lead. Off the mark. Ball it around. Rebound. Wenzel goes up. No foul. Fans are upset. Clock is winding down. And the ball game's over. And now the officials, if you have an opportunity. Now Wyoming does have a timeout remaining. Just the one. Alec misses the first on the double bonus. Now the other scenario that will not occur is leading by three. Do you foul? Right. That's out the window now. You're up one. Alec. And now Odin gets the rebound and calls the timeout. So you can get a shot off here. These are plays that are worked on on a daily basis at shoot around, etc. Anderson can't move on the baseline. Wenzel with a prayer at the horn. And New Mexico down by as many as...